Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and that, that was not done with any ill will. It no, was just I, out I, of I, I knew that from the get-go. Yes. Um, Mr. Secretary, I know it's been a, a long day already. Um, I want you to know that I'm here today uh, to use my five minutes in support of a group of 250,000 plus young people in our country who are referred to as the documented dreamers. Um, they're a too often forgotten population of talented young adults who are American in every way except on paper. And as I'm sure you're aware, since we've talked about them a few times, the documented dreamers are dependent children of long-term employment visa holders who are brought to the United States with documentation when their parents move here to work. And often these children come to the United States when they're still babies, but because they were not born here, they don't have citizenship or a real path to citizenship before they become 21. And while many of these young adults are in line for green cards with their parents, the backlog at USCIS is so long that they often face a decades-long wait. As a result, they risk having to self-deport when they turn 21 and age out of their dependent visas if they cannot find another status to stay in the United States legally. I have a bipartisan, bicameral bill to provide these children and young adults with a pathway to permanent residency protections for aging out of the immigration system. And I'm working hard to get that through the House and Senate. We got it through in two different forms last Congress through the House. However, today I want to hear about what your, your department is doing to protect these diver, deserving young people and enable them to stay here. We've educated them using our tax dollars, that which their parents pay. They often self-deport to countries that compete with us at age 21 after having a few years of college. And so I'll get into um, at least one of my questions. In a 2014 decision on whether the Child Status Protection Act requires priority date for retention for children who have aged out of their visa, the Supreme Court deferred to agency interpretation of CSPA which does not provide for a priority date retention for most individuals who turn 21 while waiting for green cards sought by their parents. However, Justice Kagan, writing for the plurality, emphasized that CSPA permits, not that it requires this narrow interpretation of the statute that C USCIS currently holds. Allowing documented dreamers to retain their original priority date and keep their place in line after they age out of their dependent visas could significantly improve the lives of this population. Why has USCIS not adopted a priority date retention for these individuals given that the Supreme Court determined that the agency possesses this authority? Congresswoman, I, I will um, consult with the Director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services and get back to you. I'm not familiar with that precise issue. Okay. Um, I only have about a minute left. So when I met with the documented dreamers, which I do quite frequently because they have learned how to petition the government for redress of their grievances, I am struck by the love of, the country, of this country and their eagerness to contribute to all of our welfare. And their stories are some of the most compelling that I've heard during my time in Congress. Does your department have any plans to protect these deserving young adults who have done everything right, been here legally, and are losing their ability to live in this country through no fault of their own? Congresswoman, I, I share your concern for these individuals who have indeed contributed so much to this country and who know no other country but this one. I can assure you I will follow up with vigilance on the questions that you have posed and respond as promptly as possible. Uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I yield back. General Lady yields back.